is Wow Ha Ha here with another video, and I'm sorry for not posting in a while, but I've been really busy and I will start posting more again. Highland Mall in Austin, Texas opened in 1971 with three anchors, which were J.C. Penney, um, Austin-based Scarboroughs, and San Antonio-based Joskies. It was originally developed by Austin Malls Inc., which is a subsidiary of Rouse Properties, which everyone knows the Rouse Company. And by everyone, I don't mean like everyone, everyone. I'm, I mean like people in the mall retail history community. The mall initially thrived and a new wing was added in 1979 and it was anchored by Foley's. In 1987, Joskies was rebranded to Dillard's. In 1992, Scarborough's closed and it became Dillard's men's store while the original Dillard's became Dillard's women's store. New competition arrived in the 1990s when Lakeline Mall opened in nearby Cedar Park. However, the mall still thrived throughout the 90s. Problems began to arise in the early and mid-2000s. The first issue was Nordstrom replaced the vacant Montgomery Ward at Barton Creek Square Mall, making it more upscale than Highland. Another issue was that in 2005, the domain a brand new glitzy nice shopping center anchored by Neiman Marcus and Macy's opened really close by. This was followed by JCPenney shuttering their mall location in 2006. These three things began the decline of Harlan Mall. Stores slowly began shuttering in the mall, making it increasingly vacant. Also in 2006, Foley's was converted to Macy's. In 2009, the Dillard's Women's Store was closed and the Dillard's Men's Store was converted to a clearance center closing off the upper levels. Macy's shuttered in 2011, leaving Dillard's Clearance Center as the only anchor. Dillard's Clearance Center also shuttered in 2011, leaving the mall without any anchor stores. The mall continued to gradually decline and closed in 2015. At this point, the mall had almost become entirely vacant and very few stores remained. Today, the mall houses some offices and um, industrial properties, but it still stands. Um, it has not been demolished or anything. Even some apartments have opened in the parking lot. Although Highland Mall closed, it still holds a very near and dear place in many Austonians' hearts. Thank you all so much for watching.